Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Project Slayers where after a lot of private server issues we are finally going to be showcasing the Beast Breathing Showcase when in reality uh, this is because of we've been doing all the other breathing showcases because I want to end on Beast Breathing and it is my favorite breathing style in all of Demon Slayer. Alright so first of all we're gonna go ahead and show all the thing, the trainings you need to do. I don't know if this is like a new update or not, but uh, in order to get beast breathing, you only need 10,000 when, no demon horns, uh, you can just go down here. I don't really wanna go down here, cause you go to the beast cave uh, on your map, you can just go to the beast cave right here, and you go down here, go through here, and the beast trainer, talk to them, 10,000 when, it's really bleh, you know, whatever, right? Like, it, I love how this area is made out to be this big, humongous <laughs> cave. And it's just a straight way right there to Inosuke and the Beast Train. Talk to them, pay them $10,000. Bada bing, bada boom, you can try and get Beast Breeding. Start the trains, you know, do whatever. It's great, it's fine. And now I have to get back to the top, and I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to meet you at the top. Okay, so we got out of the cave, and I went to the WAP training grounds for the first training we're going to be doing, which is just some simple push-ups. Uh, in the second map, again, you got to go to WAP's training ground. We haven't been here in a hot second, so yeah, just go to the- Oops, sorry, ladies. I went to the wrong room. You got to go to the WAP training ground, and you got to go over here, not to that room. You got to do some push-ups. Make sure you do the keys correctly. It's not really too difficult unless you have problems with this type of thing. I just spelled out pun, so I got- I just spelled out hug. Guys, hugs, puns, get used to it, it's not that hard. And then we're gonna go do some target training. Obviously, we'll have to go back to the trainer and, you know, blah, 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 talk to them every single time. It's really annoying like that. Since I've already done these, I can just, you know, go here and do all the trainings every single time, which is the nice part about these showcases, because I can just exploit you all to these and show you what you're gonna have to deal with, which, yeah, it's not too hard. Push-ups, target training, these are both, like, relatively easy, as long as you don't have a tool equipped. I did that one time, it was pretty annoying. Other than that, that was pretty fine. Uh, oh, split a boulder. I know that's near Akaza's cave. Uh, we'll go there and do that. Or is that, no, that's near Akaza's cave. I'm like, is that near Akaza's cave or is that near the mystery? No, it's near Akaza's cave. So we're gonna go to Akaza's cave. We gotta split the boulder. That shouldn't be too difficult for us. Oh, hi. Oh, Akaza's here. That's weird. I haven't been in the server for that long. All right, so we gotta go here. I think it's up this way. No, wait, no, it's, it, it's this way. It's this way. Trust me. I know where I'm going. Let's go fast. Yeah. Increase speed, though. Go up here. Yes, I was right. Oh, I'm gaming. I'm a gaming god. All right, let's split this boulder. J V J G L U L K H H S T F D F S V. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, I got a dog in me. Anyway, now we're gonna have to find a boulder to pull, which, I'm gonna be honest, I don't particularly know where that one is, so... This is a bit of a awkward spot for me. I'm gonna keep following Akaza's area, but I'll probably meet you to when I actually find the boulder. Alright, so it was it was just, you just, you just gotta just turn, turn, turn around. It was... <clears throat> <clears throat> Woo! Yeah, I'm that dumb. All right, I don't see where it is. I don't think I'd have to drag it up here, though. So I'm thinking it's, like, this way and then to the right. If I'm gonna take an honest guess, yeah, there it is. So we gotta pull the boulder. Oh, pull, pull the boulder. There we go. Pull the boulder like this. And there we go. Yeah! There she is. And now comes the hardest part, where we're gonna have to fight a Nosuke. Now, I'll show the moves right now before we get into anything crazy. Now, you'll notice down here, I've got a 1.1 times damage increase. That is because I have the Beast Swords, which give a uh, 5% increase to Beast Breathing. And then I also have the Beast Amulet, which gives another 5% increase. So that's a basically a uh, 0.1, I think. Yeah, I don't... I'm strong now, okay? So I'm going to be doing a little bit more than what I usually do. We'll do that. I think I will actually jump down here. I'll show them when we get to Inosuke because it's a little bit of a block. All right. So now that we're here, I'll start showing the moves. So for starters, you get Pierce at the start. User spins both the katanas in a 360 degree motion and does a dashing Pierce stack with both katanas. This is a, a lie. It's just kind of like a forward motion stab. Like, yeah. There it is. That's, I don't know why it does all that. Like, these descriptions are weird. 
We've got Crazy Cutting at 20 Mastery. This is the best one in my opinion. User's body does a horizontal spin while slicing everything in front of the user. This move is amazing. I love it. This is like the combo starter. It also stuns. It's amazing. I love that move so much. And we've got Bending Slash at 25. Yeah, 25. These go up in fives. It's really good. Another reason why I love Beast Breathing in this game. Uh, the user temporarily dislocates his arm. It dislocates his arm. Oh, God. And then does an arc horizontal slash. This is Bending Slash. Yeah. This one does is this is one of the damage dealing moves he does does a lot of damage and then next up at 30 i believe yeah 30. we've got that throwing strike the user throws both blades a certain distance which then sticks on any surface or man, any material so we'll throw our swords and then if we hit something they'll stick there and if we miss we just kind of throw them they'll come back to us or we'll dash to them you get the general idea of that and after that at 40 i believe yeah this goes up at 10. We'll get Devouring Slash. The user takes a charge stance, which then does a spiraling dash in front of the opponent, and then does a powerful upwards diagonal cut, knocking the opponent. Okay, um, this is like a, oh, it has dash now, okay. Yeah, it's mostly, oh, if I hold it, it has dash. That's what it is. I was like, normally I just kind of press it, but if I hold it, it does the dashing. I never knew that, actually. See, these showcases teach me things, too. And then last but not least, a 10% drop from a no scan with 58 mastery, you will get the devouring rush. The user lunges at the opponent with his sword outstretched before tossing him up in the air, swings his blades up above his head in an X. This is from the game where we do this little like dash forward, and if we hit them, we'll do a cutscene combo, which we won't actually use until we fight Inosuke himself. So there's the actual moves of Beast Breathing, and now we'll get into the gameplay segment with Inosuke right here. So I'm not gonna wait till Devouring Rush goes off. Um, I've got combos w before because I've noticed that my breathing is much higher. It's at 135 now and that means oh, buddy. oh, I can do a lot more now But before the increase I could combo everything. So let me see if I remember to play. Yeah. 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 Yeah This move. Oh God, he got knocked. That's bad. No, it doesn't matter. Boom. Yeah. 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 This move. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Barely This move. Uh, this move didn't come out Okay, it's fine. This move, and then, uh, yeah. That was a bad touch for that, but it works. Yeah, I can just, I can go ham now that I have more breathing. This is, this is great. I love it here. Yeah, there you go. That was 1,409 not true combo damage right there. Uh, he's gonna do the thing. Here you go. Devouring Rush. Yeah, it's from the game. Kimitsu no Yaiba. Yeah. There you go. And now he's gonna run at me, I think. He didn't. I'm scared. But it's all good. Oh yeah, I also have Hashibira clan, in case you're wondering what my clan is right now. Because I love Inosuke, as I said. Uh, I should get Komodo, but I haven't been spinning. I need Komodo, though, on my Slayer. I have it on my Demon now, which is good, because we're gonna go into, uh, Demon, uh, showcases very soon, very soon. My Demon is not nearly as strong as my Slayer. I really want the Chrome Mask, which really stinks, I didn't get it. Since that is, like, my goal in this game right now. The Chrome Mask looks so freaking drippy. I want it very, very badly. But I can't get it. Um, there we go. Uh, I think he'll survive this, actually. But, yeah, I really want the Chrome Mask. It will... It just... Oh, it looks so good. Anyway, he is dead. I'm gonna take those, I guess. And we'll wait and kill another one, I think. Yeah, we'll kill another one. That went so fast. I am much, much better with Beast Breathing than I am the other breathings. But, oh my god, the Chrome Mask is so good. Here, let me pull up, like, semi-picture. Hats. Do, 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 do this one right here. Look at that. Ugh, it looks good. It's really low drop chance, though. All right, Inosuke is back. Let us resume the beatdown. Yeah, fool. Yeah, idiot. What's up? What's up, idiot? What's up? You didn't expect me? Yeah! Didn't expect to see me so soon, did ya? Did ya, fool? Fool? Let me do this one. Yeah! Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's up against the wall, which is actually really hard for my combo starter. So I'm just gonna use the, like, normal ones. That was a bad one. Fool! I can do that too! You forget who you're messing with, boy! It's me, the Swamp Hashira! Ah, I am the goat, not you. Okay, he's gonna do his thing. Yeah. That is so good to know it goes forward now. I am gonna be so much better at this game. It's crazy how much better I'm gonna be. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 the power. The power. Also, spatial awareness is still bad. I don't care what anyone says. It stinks. The fact that it only goes against M1s, I would be better being able to see everyone on the map, honestly. I think fast. Oh, idiot. I know all of his movements, bro. I have no life this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I would have dodged that. 
but I can't. And now I lose all my breathing. Sabito, I think, would be good. Uh, because of that, like, breathing and you can move still. That might be useful. He's gonna come at me. What are you aiming at? Oh god, I went too far. <laughs> I reached too far. I went too close to the sun. I am noticing I'm using a lot more stamina with Hashi, uh, Hashi Vira or Beast Breathing. Whichever one you want to call it, I don't really care. Because I actually know how to do lots of combos with this, so that's good to know. But yeah, no, there is Beast Breathing. I killed two Inoskes. I killed them twice. I know it's very sad. Really want that Chrome Mask. It's really unlucky. I can't get it, but that's just how it is sometimes. So, as always, hope y'all like the game, favorite the game, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to do some Demon Art showcases very soon, and hopefully that'll be as fun as it is. And yeah, as always, I will see you all in the next video.